Looking for an advocate? How do you know if they're legit? Being reliable and legitimate shouldn't be hard. Great Works Alliance, Great Works, OS Ticket, it, its network program takes the guesswork out of it and helps advocates and clients connect safely. We also allow client tracking, team building, and co-lifting exercises to ensure resources are appropriate to them and their mission. Great Works Alliance enables all people to work and collaborate for results and advocacy of measurable impact. Check out the beta portal at coalitionforprotection.org backslash helpdesk. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. Um, so I would like to share with you, this is our <clears throat> program. We have an OS ticket program here that enables participants to create ticket requests. They can be any type of ticket request and advocacy is where we're starting with this, but it could be event ticket requests. We have tasks that we get assigned to different individuals. There are tickets that get tracked and people are able to add internal and external notes. We also have a database knowledge base that uh, all of our players can share and participate in. Um, so this is just some of what we're doing. And I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, well, what is Great Works Alliance? So the Coalition for the Protection of Children and Families, Great Works Alliance, and many other uh, groups have come together in an effort to provide better ability for advocacy in all areas of life. Why? Because we want to make everybody, enable everybody to have a greater experience and higher quality of life for everyone. So this is coalitionforprotection.org. This is our website. You can go to the help desk and request a ticket. Um, so then when you request a ticket, you will be able to add your information, just a short little bit of information about what your email address is so that we may contact you and you can create and open a new ticket here. You can also review our public data knowledge base here and check your ticket status. You have several different options for like topics uh, in this help desk. We are constantly uh, adding topics to this help desk and also adding missions. So if you have a mission that you would like to propose or a request, please go to the help desk. This is our beta test right now. And this is through the Coalition for the Protection of Children and Families. So then I would like to welcome all of our players who are joining in tonight and I would like to share 
what we have done and what our vision mission statement is so that you learn a little bit more about Great Works Alliance. Great Works Alliance, empowering the hero within. Vision, a world where all people are empowered individuals performing epic transformations of great works within their communities every day. Great Works refers to the incredible works of people within communities as the building blocks, bringing vivid life hallmarks in your area. We love your suggested projects and assignments, leaving yesterday's frustration in the past innovating a better world for tomorrow. Let's tie our communities together. Our mission. The mission of Great Works Alliance is to provide public access to unbiased information for the purpose of an engaged public through active involvement in their community, development, and support of all its people in the spirit of quality of life through legendary multiversal perspectives. Support and empower each player in their growth and development as a thriving individual. Provide pathways for community support organizations and projects that can be easily spawned up when needed. We also call these nodes. Provide interactive portals for diverse collective teams, communities, and organizations. Build a database of individuals needing community support services. Identify what services are needed and where. Detect the deficiencies within communities and innovate ways to connect or fill the gap. And provide a portal for other empowering missions to be proposed by players and guests alike. We are partners in quality of life, celebrating and empowering the people through engaging, interactive, optimized impact within quests and missions. To begin this process, we create an interactive user interface for the game of life using the following tools. Positive psychology, strengths and virtues. The pillars of ethics, which I will be talking about later this, in this meeting. Academic peer-to-peer -peer mentorship. Advanced technologies cultural and cultural fundamentals in application to brain retraining games and programs, dynamic, ever-expanding pathways, incentivized missions for growth, connections, and sustainable community engagement and development, collaboration portals, team building pathways, and user development options for leveling up to the Titan Heroship Academy, thus activating the full potential of the player's avatar through merit and reward empowering the hero within. So how does this work? How it works? GWA, that's Great Works Alliance, provides pathways and services to aid your empowerment and collaboration with your community. Through an expansion of your desire to connect with others in your community, you will be engaging in fun gamification of reality. Together, we will be creating tasks and challenging dynamics and the drive to stack accomplishments using tangibles and non-tangibles, improving the quality of life for all. Momentous players may navigate a multi-layered and configurable framework for your community's epic plan of action. To create a database railway of public, public and private sectors available to serve the public collectively necessitated, virally amping life and thriving self-sustainability. And what do our services include? We have a collaboration portal. So Great Works Alliance provides an online interactive network information portal with merit and reward-based incentives for further improvement in all areas of society. We do this through access to specific sector allies depending on the requests of participants. Those are the teams. So Great Works Alliance team, Phoenix team, and we're talking when we say Phoenix teams, we're talking about the lore of the Phoenix, of being fusion forged, rising from the ashes. It's an epic tale of days long ago, not just in Arizona, but <laughs> all over the world, Phoenix rising. We are all rising Phoenixes here. 
We're identifying how government and society can play a beneficial role in support of individuals in our community. Uh, looking for collaboration with other organizations, businesses, and people, building alliances within communities. Building a dynamic interactive database of effective practice models for research, such as quantitative databasing, analysis, and use by nonprofits, grant makers, academics, consultants, and others. Providing a platform and framework, wireframing, to boost the projects and initiatives of collaborative entities in the spirit of quality of life and co-creationality. What I have shared with you is just a bit of what Great Works Alliance is about, and we invite all of you to please fill out the skills and merit evaluation sheet. And you can go to greatworksalliance.com to learn more about Great Works Alliance and how you can become involved. Here is our site. This is greatworksalliance.com. And we're having more members joining in. Welcome, welcome. More players joining our, our mission. Awesome. And so in sharing this site, you will find that there on the first page are several options for you to click on. And they will take you to different portals. So we have, for those of you who wish to watch the entire video that was partly presented here at the beginning of this meeting, you would select play. And for those of you who are interested in becoming players in this game that we call life in Great Works Alliance team framework, you can fill out your profile by click clicking on the second button that says my profile. Please be sure um, that you um, only add information that you want to share. We're not asking you for any private information here. Uh, we're looking for more about your skills and your merit and your abilities to help others. We're here to help. That's what we all want to do here. And we invite you to become a part of our team. At this point, I would like to welcome some of our players that have joined us tonight. We have Mary joining us, and then we also have our friend Carol Sue, who's in Belize. She, she is joining us tonight as well. And um, I would like to open up the floor. And, and Oh, yes, and then there's also Nate. I've, <laughs> I apologize. Yes, Nate is also here joining us tonight, and um, Mary has risen her hand, so I will let Mary. Uh... Did you have a question, Mary? All right, well, um, so I would like to then open the floor up. I believe that we we should have a little bit of introductions of some of the players that are joining us tonight. Uh, since Carol Sue joined us early on, I would like to give her the first window <laughs> to introduce herself, please. Welcome. Well, thank you. Uh, my name is Carol Sue Engelman, that's my Facebook name. In Belize, I go by Sarah Angel Hair. You can call me anything you want. Uh, I'm very excited to be a part of this. And I was just handed the reins of an NGO, which is a nonprofit uh, government organization. And it is already registered, ready to go. We just need to write bylaws and change out some directors so we can get a bank account here. And it basically covers almost everything that um, the uh, GWA does and, and can work absolutely in tandem together. And it is an umbrella um, NGO 
uh, in the, but the main focus to, to, in the beginning is single families, helping them get back on their feet. My goal is, one of my goals, is to get those family members, add those, um, we will weed out the ones that are really ready to actually go outside of society because the only way we're going to change society is through the children and raise them up without being tainted, conditioned, uh, and programmed uh, through the public school system and society. That's just one of the programs. It is set up so that it is an umbrella, <coughs> excuse me, so that many other people can fulfill their dreams and their organization under the umbrella of, and it's gonna be called Adele's International Outreach Program, spelled P-R-O-G-A-M-M-E, because it provides for whatever kind of program we want, and it's pretty much laid out uh, with a lot of different options, so you can pretty much do whatever you want, both in Belize and internationally. So I think this is a time to meld our efforts, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'd like to know if anybody has any questions. Well, thank you, Sarah Angel Air, and um, I'm so glad that you have joined us tonight. And this sounds like a wonderful opportunity for a lot of people. And absolutely, we would love to. What we usually do when we have collaboration um, workings and, and agreements is we have a a private one-on-one -on -one meeting with the the corporation or the individual or the NGO and we go through the paperwork and make sure that we're all protected because we have we have created privacy policy we have our pillars of ethics and policies and codes and procedures and we have um <clears throat> legal disclaimers and non-disclosure statements and all of that and so that's we've got all of that material and anything that we can do to help you in making all the changes that you plan on making and, and cre in creating this, that we can. I mean, we have a structure set up. That's what Great Works Alliance does, is we provide a framework for whatever the organization might be so that you can go in and have your own setup where you're able to track all of the different projects and teammates and team members within your organization and they can do this communication online and like i was sharing uh the os ticket system is the way that we're doing that right now and this is just our beta test so it's it's we're developing something even grander than this but this is what we're starting with Fabulous. Now, who am I, who's speaking? Who? Uh, who is speaking? I missed that part. Who is speaking? Oh, this is Lyra. Lyra. Hi, Lyra. I apologize. Great. You know, this, this is one of the things about this is that um, what we've noticed is that on Facebook and other social media platforms, there's a lot of bickering and people are backstabbing each other and it has to do with, you know, somebody wanting to take credit for an idea that isn't theirs. And so they'll steal it from somebody else and they won't give proper credit. And, and, you know, a lot of people are getting fed up with that. And this is really a headless organization. Great Works Alliance is supposed to be more of a collaboration or collective to enable all sorts of projects to be completed, all these great works to be given all of the strength and all of the team players that are ready and willing to work, because it's hard work. It's hard work being an advocate. It's hard work taking care of families that are in distress. Absolutely. So now I lost you somehow. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't lose you. I lost me. Go ahead. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is every Sunday we have this open meeting to talk about 
what Great Works Alliance can offer to all of the people who want to participate in this spray board. Excuse me. And and we're not doing it for like name or fame or, or gain. I mean, we we're looking at this as something that society is begging for right now. Exactly. And the right people are coming together right now. And it, the important thing is that, you know, what happens is you end up weeding out the ones that are there for ego. Mm -hmm. You know, that they'll come, you have the meetings, and then they'll get weeded out. That's right. And, that, and that's what we do here. And, and Mary here, she's a, a very strong advocate. Welcome, Mary. Would you like to uh, say a little something? Hold on, let's unmute you. Yeah, okay. Excellent. Hi, Miss Carol. Hi, Mary. How are you, honey? Excellent, and you? Very well. Now, we're Facebook friends, right? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think we are. Uh, I... Well, yeah, because of the sisters. Right? Yeah. Did yeah. you? Absolutely. Did you? Have you been with this, or is this your first meeting? Well, this is my second meeting. I was uh, on a few weeks ago. There was just a few of us. Do you remember that, Lara? It was about a month ago. Yes, I do. And and yeah. one, of, one of the things we're discovering is that we're doing on the spur meetings. We've been in having one-on-one um, -on -one meetings with a lot of players who just aren't available at this time. But this time is the open meeting for people who don't really know what we're about, you know, and then also for us to share some of the written material that we put together that we want people to be looking at using if they want to. You know, it's, it's, it's forms and, um, well, I've got the pillars of ethics, for example, that I would like to share tonight that uh, I've worked on for two years now. Uh, started working on it with um, Family Rights Party and then we've expanded upon it since then. Um, and also if you look in the messages, uh, we've sent to Carol the information, the, the introductory packet and it has it has this document in it, so Great Works Alliance, um, Ethical Code of Policy and Procedures, this is the Pillars of Ethics, and we had started talking about this, but we've done some work since we're working with all these different uh, collaborators right now, and it's just amazing how the everything is expanding and the uh, <laughs> the writing is expanding upon that <laughs> so um, I don't know if you can see this can you see this well enough yeah so the building uh, building a community of ethical conduct yeah yes. God I just I just wrote that basically to somebody just a few minutes ago Wow I, yeah and this, um, this actually came out of a uh, um, a paper that I wrote when I was taking a class in human resource management two years ago mm -hmm. and, and the paper was about building a community of ethical conduct because we need to be integrating diversity of all kinds not just color diversity but age diversity disability diversity you know that kind of diversity and and all of that is important that diversity is what makes us human right. when we lack that diversity you know we become sheeple and robots and i've been talking a little bit about that too on my page about sheeple oh my <laughs> <laughs> but um you know i i just feel that the more that we come out in expressing love and light and showing that there is more that we can do as individuals in our daily lives and in the workplaces that we go to and our pillars of principal ethical standards and collaboration are 
love, honesty, trust, honor, integrity, justice, morality, respect, responsibility, reciprocity, transparency, and reliability. And, and we have a chart. I, I created this mind map. Wow. I, I can't expand it anymore, darn it. Yeah. Donna, I'd like, like to add balance. balance. I, it's too bad. That's beautiful right there, Lira. Maybe in the center, hear this out. Maybe in the center, balance plus your cooperation equals harmony. That would be cool. I, I call it bitch, B-Y-C-H. Well, I can't, can I do that? Yes, I can. Balance plus cooperation. Plus your cooperation. Your cooperation. Your cooperation. You know, and that comes, the, the, the cooperation comes from Dr. Bruce Lipton, who's in, in uh, that should be capitalized, the, the, your, the Y and the C should be capitalized. Sorry, uh, yep. Yep, and then, and because he says, you know, the, the world is on this precipice of annihilation, and the only thing that's going to uh, help is if uh, harmony should also be, no, no, balance, harmony. Oh. Harmony. harmony, I'm, you're right. Yeah, with a capital A. And, and he says that the only thing that's really going to uh, work is um, if we're in cooperation. That's how the cells of the body work. They work in cooperation. And when they don't, we have disease. So that's where I get that from. People matter, everybody. All people matter. It's yeah. not about your color of your skin. We are all one race. On this beautiful, we're all one human race. That's right. And, and and you're, you know, they say don't judge, but yeah, you you got to judge. You got to judge people upon their character, and um, or else you'll never, you'll always have infiltrators in your heart and your life and your business and all that. So, well, I would beg to differ. I would say there's a difference between judgment and discernment. Well, discernment. You're right. Discernment. Carol. You know, because yeah. really, it's not our place to judge anybody. Uh, well, well, the Bible does say. What? The Bible does. The Bible does say. I do implement the Bible, um, but it does say have wise judgment. Mm -hmm. That's a, di yeah, but it's a different connotation of judgment. Right, but uh, I'm saying right. you want to be wise. So, and and that's the thing we we're kind of stuck in this language um, buster flux, I call it. Yes. Where the word state. Okay, we live in the state of California, but what does the word state mean, actually? A state is like an emotional state of being. A state is a, or a physical state of being. So am I being the state of California because I live in the state of California? Right. Or am I being Lyra just freely traveling within this quote unquote fictitious state of California? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I mean, you know. Interesting. That's interesting. You know, I love, I love the um, different, like Carol said, discernment. There's a difference between discernment and judgment. Um, whatever it may be, you're wising, you're wising up. Um, and smartening up and your eyes are opening to the real deal. That's all that matters in the long run. But um, and we do have a, we do have a dictionary that we're putting together, you know, a reference glossary of what definition we are using for these important words because yes. we don't want to have any confusion over that. Right. And mm -hmm. I think Carol's word is better, discernment. All right. Absolutely. Thank you. I I'll also I want to say I just got the logo. It's really cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this in parentheses. I have to fix it. Did Mary get to finish her like what she was going to say? I don't I don't know. <laughs> Did you was <laughs> Listen, we're getting we're productive. We're okay. And that's what, you know, this is about when we have these meetings to be able to have these discussions 
and talk about these issues in a productive manner instead of the bickering right. and the fighting and the screaming and the yelling. I, I've seen some of these videos where, you know, people are being booed off of yeah. being, it's horrible. It's like, I don't know. I, I, I believe in the pillars of ethics and then, you know, being able to go further into that, we, we've expanded like what our clear code of ethics is that we make a commitment to protecting independent self, children, families, communities, environments, and our planet. Mm -hmm. That we can consistently demonstrate care and dignity for people. Right. That, we, that we will be sure that decision making in the organization is carefully incorporates ethics. Yeah. And then a really important thing here is to mentor those young leaders to implement proactive ethical leadership. You know, we, we got to bring the ethics back into society. People are going yes. crazy. There's madness out there on the street. I think yeah. Ben Franklin's <laughs> head was decapitated on the statue a couple weeks ago. Now they're taking the whole statue down. That's I mean, awful. they just. Where? Where? I, I forget what state it's in, um, but yeah, uh, I see so much. I see so much news right now that is focusing on bad behavior, a total lack of ethics, and right. and it's almost being encouraged because it's happening on both sides. Oh, right. Not only is it being encouraged, it's being paid for. Right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah Soros, Hillary, the Democratic Party, they're all dipping oh. down and paying up. Mm -hmm. But they're only getting a crumb from the loaf of bread. That's what they're that's what they're destroying America for. Yeah. A welfare a welfare uh food yep. stamp, you know. Real intelligence. Mm -hmm. You know. When and they're gonna see how much their life matters when they're in FEMA camps. Right? Exactly. And we've actually heard that there are some of the homeless that have already been taken here in California yes. to the FEMA camp. This and is true. We are so lucky that they can't get us. <laughs> Haven't yeah. put ourselves in that position. Not going to do that. <laughs> well, I, I open up, I open up a, an umbrella for you guys if you decide you want to get out of the states before they vaccinate you. Not the police. Oh wow, that would be lovely. I, I just, yes. I, I'm, I'm in I'm in New York, Carol. Ah. Well, I came here and on a two week vacation over two years ago and never never went back, never left. What state is that? Well, Belize is a country. It, it's uh. Oh oh, Belize. Oh okay. It's yes. Just wow, what an invitation. Yeah. Yeah, wow. it's beautiful down there. Absolutely beautiful. gorgeous. Yes. Uh, have you seen any UFOs? Boy, that would give you, I would love to live in Belize. <laughs> well, that's what I said when I got here. You know, I came for a two-week vacation. Right. And back. And I had yeah. just passed in California. <laughs> yeah, right? That's where we met. Now, oh. now my, my cousin is living in that house. And I have sent the sisters some of the... Um, the snippets that she's she's putting out videos and and you can just write this down the www the people's intelligence agency dot com and watch everything that she does and it's 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 connecting all the dots and uh it's happening right at my house nice and Very and, and the uh who's his name um Maxwell, something Maxwell, Jordan Maxwell, who brought uh, Cliff, uh, not Cliff, who brought um, David Ike to the United States, is staying at my house right now. Wow. wow. Awesome. Yeah. We need to get connected with them too. But yeah, totally, it, you know, it, it was it, Jordan, but it was really Jordan. It, huh? Well, I just saw Gordon was written up there, Gordon Maxwell, but it's actually Jordan. Oh, I'm sorry. D O R? No, J O R. Jordan. J O R. J O R. J N. 
A O R. I, I frankly don't really know who he is, but I've been told. <laughs> Did I spell it right, right this, is, this is the second Jaxwell, uh, or Jordan, I come across. Is it, what did you say, Jordan Maxwell? Uh huh. Okay. And gonna, the people's agency, what was that? Videos. What? I just, I just got a hold of a pen. What was the people's agency.com address again? That's it, the people's uh, intelligence agency.com. Okay. The PIA. And then there's, and, also, and there's also a Facebook group. Okay. And I'm going to put that. The People's uh, Agency, uh, People's Intelligence Agency group is the Facebook name. People's Agency. But the uh, People's Intelligence Agency, the PIA. Right. I got that. I, I wrote it down here uh, in the notes, and I will be putting it up on the meeting when I publish the meeting this evening or tomorrow. Um, right. And I wanted to let you know that we are running out of time. We can meet again, I can reopen the room, but I wanted to just uh, inform everyone out there, hey, we need your help. We want your participation, please. Sign yes. up, join in. I think I got something in, uh, you know, uh, uh, maybe last month before I left town. And uh, I met, uh, I didn't really know how to fill it out, and now uh, this whole thing has happened, and now I have uh, yeah, I know exactly how to fill it out, and I'm excited because this organization that you have is uh, it's fabulous. I you know I can't even say enough about it. I just love the concept, and, and it's it, it's a little different than than this NGO, which is also an umbrella to pull everybody together. But this is, yes. this is a little different, and uh, they're both necessary and work in tandem. I just I love it, Lyra. Well, thank you. Yeah, that's what our goal here is, is to support all of you in creating this platform that helps with all of those tasks and making sure that you don't have to worry if you're not able to complete a task. There's a whole team you can, you can ask for help from and we want the teams to be able to work and together and if there's like a task that one team is unable to complete because it's out of their scope they can create a ticket and send it to the next team to continue the process and it, it is very safe this is this whole os ticket system it's not a public platform we have a public side to it, but it's not a public platform. Yeah, Carol. Yeah. Oops, do I raise my hand? Um, Carol, I, I, uh, yeah. I, had the, I had the complete joy of um, Lyra and Nate walking me through and signing me up and, um, and putting, you know, what my um, strong points were. But um, mm -hmm. it, it's so slim, simplematic. It was, it was actually so simplematic after she got done. I was like, you know, this just went into, after you're done with one questionnaire, it goes right into another, right into another, you know, so it wasn't like, oh, thank uh, you. Uh, a very, you know, this is the most intelligent thing for uniting America that I've ever come across. And I've told her this a few, on a few occasions that, um, for any country or any, uh, um, um, any, you know, America or the people or families or anything, you could, this, this is so, um, strong, intelligent and, um, structured that it could even work on a low level as far as uniting your family together and helping them starting wow. there and then spreading out. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. It's amazing that these two had bought this thing, or whoever's been involved, or mostly, but. Um, really. hey, it's been me and Nate, and, and we've had people come in and out, you know, it's, it's all about bringing advocates together that truly want to make a difference and, and, you know, are having a hard time on their own. Right. Nobody <laughs> Work alone. Nobody should feel that way. And we make it easy for 
parents to get help, for advocates to get help, for veterans to get help, everybody, because that's yeah. what it's about. We're, we can build a community environment that has nothing to do with government. Right. Doing this. It, it, you know, it's like it, it takes over and says, hey, let's all do this because we're all important. Everyone right. matters. I, I, I can't rest it enough <laughs> to some people. And, and so we, we appreciate um, all of the collaborative efforts that you all are working on. And we want to help you achieve your goals, your quest, your mission. And yeah. well, and, and I'll give you a line that it, you can steal if you want, and and that is where one person's gift ends, the next person's begins, and together we create a whole. Bingo! Yes. Bingo! Exactly. Yeah. And that's really and that's really my goal in creating a dream team, and that is kind of what this is: is a dream team. It's a yeah. lot of dream teams. We want to pump up those dream teams. Exactly. And, and I also see that, you know, people will cycle in and out because they, you know, ideas have meetings, have meetings, and the right ones will stay. The ones with ego will come and go. Yeah, I understand. And and we, we've found that the best way to do this at this point in time is to continue sharing. Hey, you know, this is for everybody. Mm -hmm. You, you can love us or hate us. We're here to help. <laughs> it doesn't matter to us. Well, from my part, I love you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Sarah? Um, well, I'm sure we're going to get cut off shortly, so I w just want to make sure that everybody who joins in, let you know you go to the site, greatworksalliance.com. Uh, our front page will take you.